today I have a real quick tip for you guys and it has to do with misfires and dual overhead cam engines. The way these work is they put a cam on each side, one for intake, one for exhaust, and then they put the spark plugs right down the center here. So the spark plug goes right into the center of the cylinder and gets the most complete powerful burn. Uh, this applies to four cylinders, six cylinders, eight cylinder engines, it doesn't matter. The heads are all set up this way. Now there's one basic design flaw with these and it has to do with the valve cover gasket itself. The gasket, of course, seals around the outside of the valve cover, no big deal, right? But it also has to seal around the ports because down in here is the spark plug. That's a dry well, obviously. Once they start leaking oil, okay, any of these, oil gets down in there, soaks the coil, and then once the coil has another easier path to ground, it's gonna take it and you're gonna have misfires. Usually it's a dead misfire where it's a constant misfire, idle, driving, doesn't matter. Um, but it's commonly over, overlooked or people don't know where the oil's coming from. And I'm here to tell you, this gasket right here is where it's coming from. Now on the six cylinders, like the 3.0 and all that stuff, they'll have uh, round ports in the valve cover and it goes straight down, right? Those have O-rings, same thing on the inside of the valve cover that seal the port. It's not usually a casting flaw or a crack in the head issue, it's almost always that gasket on there. I'll show you how that gasket looks in the valve cover here in a second. And this is how it looks in the valve cover. You have your outer seal like usual to keep oil you know, contained within the engine, but then you also have the port seals here. These were the, this is where the coil sticks through from the top side there. So they each have their own little o-ring on them to seal them up because there's a lot of splash lubrication inside of here and you don't want that going down your spark plug wells. And this is how it looks down the spark plug wells. See how they're nice and clean inside of there? Nice and dry. That's how they should be. No oil, coolant, nothing down inside of there. Not even a seepage because that can cause a misfire in there. So it's a very easy check. All you have to do is go over your coil, pull the one bolt out, pull your connector off, and pull the coil out. Look at the end of the boot on there and you'll be able to tell right away if it's oil soaked or not without even sticking a light down in there. Also what I've seen is people take these cars to quick lube places. They go to fill the oil, they miss it, they fill the valley here. It's like a trap basically for oil to clean it out best they can rather right rags and stuff like that it still seeps past these boots on there that can cause misfires too so you got to watch out for that and this applies to all the Ford vehicles that use the dual overhead cam setup on there they're all gonna have the spark plugs going right down the center and they're prone to this kind of failure what happens is the the gasket especially in the early ones they had a problem with the gasket material it would harden over time so it didn't take up the inconsistencies in the head on there where it sealed on there it wasn't plush anymore so it just started seeping and the first place it's gonna go is right down to that spark plug well now don't think Ford is that bad because a lot of other manufacturers they have problems where either the valve cover is bad and that that'll have a problem with it where that'll cause the leak or they have a, a few different ones I think it's on Chrysler's where the cylinder head is prone to leaking on there, the actual cylinder had casting on it. So a little valve cover gasket on the Fords, no big deal.